Ugh. Excuse me, that was a good start to the video, wasn't it? Anyway, good evening. It's uh, nearly 9.40. And uh, I've actually, even though it was a day off from mum's, I've uh, been busy today rearranging the shed. So I can actually get a bike out. And I've thrown a load of crap on the trailer as well for rubbish. Uh, I've got my little trailer full of stuff to bring upstairs, which I've hit up around the corner because it was just too cold wet. And by that time I just couldn't fucking be asked, so that's gone around the corner. Besides, I've got to um, empty the tires out of the shed up here, or the cupboard up here, so I can get those parts in. So, yeah, I can actually get a bike out to ride now. Uh, should have some people picking up that Viking tomorrow at 4.30. So I can't even go over to Mum's tomorrow. Uh, which is good, because it means I can get up here and into this upstairs cupboard and sort of that. Um. I must have been in a really I don't give a rat's behind mood earlier. I'd gone across, once I'd done out in the shed, I decided while I'm down there, I'll just run across to Lidl, get a few bits that I want from there, then go to Sainsbury's and get what I need from there. Because I could drop the heavy bag here because I had some bottles of cola in it. And uh, when I got across the car park to where the metal gate is, some pillock had actually parked in front of the gate. Which meant I pretty much had to go into the hedge to get past his car. And he was still there when I came back with the carrier bag. And I think I've knocked into his car a few times as well. But what a dumbass place to park. You're not meant to park there anyway. Because technically it is private land. And on top of that, if there's a lot of people that cut through here with push chairs and kids and old ladies with their um, Zimmer frames and um, their trolley things that some of them use as a sort of a, a crutch, I suppose. No one like that would have gotten through while the pillock was parked there. So I don't even give a toss that he was sitting in the car when I come back. You just give me a look and I'll just give him a look. <laughs> you know? Don't park in it. If you don't want marks on your car, don't park in stupid places. You know? The same on car parks. If you don't want people to bash doors into your car, park properly. Otherwise, expect people to bash their door into your car. Because a number of times I've come back to mum's car and some pillock has parked far too close to the car so it's been like a real tight squeeze to get in I just bashed the car door into their car because I'm just like well you know it's their fault if they can't park properly and leave people room to get into their cars it's not my fault I've got to get into the car at the end of the day and if it means bashing into their car it's their fault with any luck they'll teach my lesson and not to do it but anyway, Minnie ran over, I think. I'm just going to stand you up for a minute. Uh, right. Haven't heard from Mum today, so I don't know how they've gotten on. 
hopefully they've gotten all the um, well, a bunch of boxes empty and uh, I know stepdad was going to zip back to the old house today and just pick up the last bits that were in the house like some clothes that were left there because um, he didn't want to put the clothes on a dirty old van which is fair enough um, I'm looking at the camera but you probably can't even see my face I'm not sure <laughs> But apart from that, if I know Mum, she's probably been emptying as many boxes as possible. I'm trying to sort the kitchen out. Keeping in mind the kitchen is... Um, it's not really smaller. Well, it is in the sense that it doesn't have as many cupboards. We had to take one out in order to get the dishwasher in, so one had to be sacrificed. It was either that or no dishwasher. We and they'd have to go back to uh, hand washing. <laughs> yeah, and I cannot see my stepdad or my brother doing that, so the cupboard came out. But uh, hopefully she's managed something. There is room if we want to put extra cupboards in there or shelves. There's plenty of room in that kitchen to do so. <sighs> All right. I really do need to get things... Uh, Sorted here. Uh, I've still got a box of decorations here I should stick up in the cupboard because I don't think I want any more out of there. I think it's time for a new tree. And in fact, so I have to buy a new tree next year, I'm throwing this one in the bin. It looks fine, or it probably looks fine on, a ca on the camera, but for one, where the two halves join, you can probably tell it's leaning. The top half is leaning quite a lot um, that way. And uh, every time I put it up or take it down, all of this stuff is just flaking off like hell. So, But I have had it eight years. I've going on ten years, you know, so it has done me well. <clears throat> the poor thing. It would be an excuse to get a... Um, Bigger tree, because I think that's a... F yeah, that's a four foot, and that's not a five foot. <clears throat> I'd like to go for either a five footer or a six footer. If I had a six foot tree, I could probably stand on the floor somewhere. Ha ha ha! Although, having said that, I am toying with the idea of getting rid of that computer desk. Or moving it into the bedroom somehow <laughs> just so I've got a bit of extra room in here because I've still got yards of room in the bedroom I mean oh shit if I wanted to I could just move the desk and everything out of there and put that other computer desk in there can run an extra long ethernet cable around. In fact, I've already got one in the bedroom that I could run round to here and set up that hub over here and an extension socket on the wall. So it wouldn't be hard to do. I could do it if I want to. <clears throat> I'm not sure how I'm going to get the um, computer desk through that gap, though. It might squeeze through it. No, that would be a tight squeeze. But uh, that would, like I said, give me some extra room there. I'd lose my table, but that means I just won't be able to fill it up with crap, will I? <laughs> so, I actually like that idea. So I don't know when I'm going to get round to doing that. I will at some point. And because this has a non-genuine version of Windows 7 on it, I think I'll upgrade it to a genuine version of Windows 10 and have two Windows 10 PCs operating because that will run it. Oh shite, I can't do that because <laughs> the printer is installed on that computer and I need Windows 7 to run it. Shit. Okay, is that idea out the window then? I don't think, I think because that printer is quite old it might get a bit too, uh, Windows 10 might get a bit too arsy with the drivers. Uh, oh 
well. That's why I actually installed that printer on that PC and not my main one. Because I didn't want to risk all that piss arsing around trying to get it to work. Just in case, because I know how finicky Windows 10 can be with older devices. <clears throat> well, I could just chuck it and go spend like 30, 40 quid on a new printer. You know, that will run on Windows 10. <laughs> and I don't really need a big one. Well, I was going to say I don't need a big one with the scanner in built into it, but... Uh, I do use it occasionally, very occasionally, but I do use the scanner on it, so... Yeah, I'll keep it for now. I'll just leave that all together and move it into the bedroom. Um, get off, you numbnuts. Right. It's too late to move things around tonight, though. Yeah, I do like that idea. Because it's also getting annoying having to uh, move all that junk off of there just to use the bloody computer. Why have I got the side panel off of that? I took the side panel off for some reason. I can't remember why. Oh well. Oh. So yeah, I can't go anywhere tomorrow because I've got the bike to turn up. Or the people to collect the bike turning up, I hope. That'll give me the extra bit of room I need to get one more bike in the shed that I've got locked up up the corner here. Although if I had the room in this upstairs shed, I'd have taken the wheels out and just put the frame in this shed. Till I was ready to um, build it, because it's a vintage bike, it's an old Triumph. That I want to build. And like I said, yeah, the paintwork looks rough, but it's not rotten, and I think it's showing its age well enough for me just to build it up as it is. You know, and ride it round as the um, sort of a. Uh, what's the look they call it on cars? The rat look. <laughs> I could have a rat bike. Actually, a lot of my older ones are rat bikes, because they all look rough. But I suppose if you're as old as they were, you'd probably look rough as well. <laughs> I think some of them are done well, considering their age. Ow! Oh yeah, that's right. Taking the baggage rack off the Viking so I can. Uh, and I've bought that up here and a couple of front mud guards because the Peugeot hasn't got one fitted. It's one of these two down here. Let's turn the friggin' light on so we can see. Yeah, and I found a nice chrome handlebar for the three speed out there so I can chuck that one there when I get. I might actually do that first so I can actually put it up for sale before I do any more to my Peugeot. As I'm doing the Peugeot for myself. Uh, I've got that girls one I really need to do as well. But I haven't got the room to store complete bikes at the minute. One person messaged me that I didn't see till this afternoon actually about the rally. No reply back so he may have either forgot about it or found something else. So He messaged last night around about 11 o'clock. And I didn't get it until a good 24 hours later, so... May have found something else in that time, so I've probably lost out on a sale, but never mind. I'm thinking I'll just keep that one anyway. As, um, you know, part of my own personal collection. Oh, it's coming up to 10 o'clock. Yeah, I've got to end the video there. Oh, no, I'm not. 
I am going to do another video on this though, but I just wanted to say it arrived in the mail. Here it is. A much better. Uh, excuse me. Plasti flash lamp. I have got battery in it. But, uh. Stay tuned, it's even got it written down there. Plasti Flash JSP Limited Oxford England. And a fax number. I very much doubt the NAC the NAX number, the fax number rather, would actually still work. I wonder why there's no phone number though. So they put a hole for the switch either side so it doesn't matter which way round, in theory, that you put the circuit in, it should line up with a hole, in theory. <laughs> yeah, because the hole's on the opposite side. You see on this side, it's there. On this side, it's there. So yeah, it wouldn't matter which way round. How's you clever how they do that? So simple to use. But yeah, my one through there looks a hell of a lot rougher than this. The lens is faded on mine. And I've got that big crack in here in the plastic. Still perfectly usable and perfectly displayable, but that eBay has very kindly sent me another one. And I do actually like these because they you know, they weren't a common one. I think the only place I ever saw one of these in use was down in London. Don't recall ever seeing one up here in Norfolk. That bloody thing out of my way. You know, there's the one that I've got, as you can see, it's all dirty, and it's probably why I got this pretty cheap off eBay. I've got the metal bit that I can pinch from this one, if I want to put it under that one, but this one must be a different model, because if you look, there's no lips there to hold the battery, but if I turn this one upside down, there's no metal bracket, but it's got these lips either side to support the battery. So I'm guessing that one might be slightly newer than that one. Yep, yeah, there's the crack, look. Big crack. But like I said, it's still usable. That's got a black circuit board in it as well. That one, I believe, is a white one. Yeah. Ooh, and the copper contacts look new. New. This has got a different bolt on it as well, see? Yeah. Johnstone Safety Products, I'll have put the full name on there, not the initials. Oxford, England, Plasti Flash. Yeah, this one's def this one is probably the um, first model they did. You need to get one. Anyway, I'm rambling about lights now, so I'm going to <laughs> turn the camera off. Now, I've already got a lot of these. I'm going to go through these and just check what I've got. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to have a look at a lot of my lamps. I'm beginning to wish I didn't sell all the other three of these. Because I've got someone that watches my videos who collects lamps and I would have posted one to him for free again. To uh, help him build up his collection of various lamps. Anyway. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. I need to get a few bits listed on eBay. I need to get a nice cold drink poured. My chicken nuggets are nearly done. Got some, yeah, got some barbecue sauce behind me. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will talk to you again, probably tomorrow. No idea what we're going to talk about. I'm sure I can find something. Anyway, see you tomorrow.